Hey guys, it's me, Sophia. Okay, so in my last video, I asked everybody to tell me what you wanted to see me do on my channel. And I got a lot of requests to show you the hairstyle I wore in the hair envy video, curl envy video, and the help me help you video. So this is very similar. It's just a really big chunky not very defined braid out done on dry hair so um this is of course the finished look you know the next day but i'm going to show you guys you know the, the process of what i did so if you like to learn how to do this style please stay tuned and i also just want to say thank you to all the new subscribers i have thank you to all my old and current subscribers just for you know always being there leaving those great comments and everything and letting me know what you think um i have a lot of smart subscribers you know i can tell reading through all the comments in my videos and everything so it feels good to be in great company and thank you again and i hope you that you enjoy this tutorial bye okay guys so most of my head is already braided but i'm just going to tell you what my process is and then show you how i do the last section so, um, I separated my hair into about four sections, two in the front, one, and then one at the bottom of um, the back of my head. And, um, of course, when you do your sections, if you want your hair to lay a certain way, you know, with the part, you're going to add your part in first because you're not, it, it might mess it up if you try to do your part after you take the braids out. From there, I did about three to four braids per section, and as you can see, they are pretty big, uh, they're pretty big blocks, and they're not cute <laughs> at all, but they're not supposed to be. So, this is my first time, like, trying to get this look on purpose, so I hope it works. Okay, so... Today I wore a braid out. It was my first day wearing a braid out. So my hair is still pretty um, moisturized. I used some of my Shea mixture um, on it. And so the only thing I'm going to use on it today is Juices and Berries by Oin Handmade. You can use a little bit of a water spritz um, or whatever you know type of liquid spray you might like to use. And I'm going to use some virgin coconut oil. Any brand is fine. Um, and all you're going to do is take a section of hair, and this is a pretty big section. I'm going to clip the rest up and out of my way. I'm going to spritz it with my juices and berries just to get it slightly damp. But you don't want your hair to be really wet when you do this. It's best when it's dry and in some form that's already kind of stretched out. See, my hair is already stretched out from the braid out that I wore earlier today. Then I'm just going to take a wide tooth comb and just comb through it. Of course, starting from the bottom and then working your way up to the roots. Now I'm just going to take a little bit of my coconut oil. Not a lot because you don't want your hair to be really greasy. And I love coconut oil because it's really, really light. And now I'm going to take just a brush. This is a goodie brush. I just purchased this not too long ago. I'm just going to brush through it to smooth everything out. And now we can start braiding. So you try to get the sections kind of equal. That makes it easier. And it makes it look slightly more uniform. And, you know, I know sometimes it adds to the look when um, there are different sizes or whatever. Because you just get varying sizes of waves throughout your hair. I'm just going to braid. And then as I get to the bottom, I will twist. And just to make sure my ends are, are extra moist, so I'm going to spray a little bit more juices of berries and get a little bit more coconut oil and twist the rest of the way down. I never braid my hair all the way down. Okay, so I'm done braiding my hair, and I told you it 
it doesn't look cute at all. This is not like a braided style you probably want to wear. Maybe if your hair is longer, they look cute. You can put them down. So if you have anywhere to go, you might want to throw a beanie on or something. They're kind of all over the place sticking out. But that's because they're bigger um, than I would usually make them for a braid out. So hopefully this comes out, you know, with a big chunky look that I got last week. We'll see though. Um, let's see if there's, if there's anything else. Uh, I also like to just take the juices and berries and just spray all over my head. It's soothing to the scalp. So, I love that spray. It's by um, Oyen Handmade, if you're not familiar with juices and berries or grape juice or whatever. And um, just to finish, because it will be time for me to go to bed soon, I just put on a satin bonnet. Or you can use a satin scarf, or if you have a satin pillowcase, you can do that too. Sometimes I like to sleep on a satin pillowcase, but tonight I'm just going to do the bonnet, because this doesn't look cute. <laughs> okay, so there we go, and I will be back in the morning to show you guys how I style it. Good night. Good morning. Okay, now I'm just going to take the braids out. And as you take them out, um, just leave them alone. Don't do anything with them yet. So I have all of my braids out. Now I'm going to start actually shaping it um, to look the way I want it to. So um, whenever I do a braid out and I fluff my hair, I always like to put like a little bit of coconut oil or something on my fingers um, just to help with it not frizzing up so much. And then I'll just lightly pull pieces apart. I try to separate less at the top um, just because I want it to be a little bit more defined there than in the back. This back doesn't really matter much to me. And you also, you know, shake it out a little bit. That helps the, the hair to fall and loosen. Okay, so it's basically fluff to where I like it. So now I'll get into styling it more and I'll just turn around. I think it's it's like wild but it's like really pretty at the same time. Now you can style it how you want to. Since this is a lot of hair, I think I'm gonna um pin my hair off of my face. It's gonna be warm today too, so So I'm just going to twist it. And then I'll pin. Okay. So I did my makeup and everything. Finished fluffing my hair. And this is the final result. I tried to film like a quick makeup tutorial. But um, the lighting was just really, really, really weird. So uh, when I go to school, I don't wear a foundation or anything. I just wear a little bit of face powder. Um, for my eyes, I did Femme Fee on the inner half, Expensive Pink on the outer half, and then I did just a purple eyeliner on the waterline. Um, NARS Orgasm Blush on my cheeks along with MAX uh, Refined Deeper Bronze. Bronzer. I wear this every day. I love this stuff. Um, Bag Eyelash Mascara, my favorite new mascara, and the lip gloss is called Entice, and it's also by MAC. So that's it. Um, so the makeup, I went with just soft, pretty, closer to the natural side, but with just a little bit more fun color, um, so that it's not everything is not competing so much. The earrings, I just have these little pearl posts in to kind of match the pearls. 
that are on my shirt. I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, okay, so I think that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this whole process, please let me know. And I'll be back soon with um, another request from one of you guys, okay? Thanks, bye.